you have this idea of running this study. Uh huh. <laughs> We're going to look at identical twins. We're going to put them on different dietary patterns. One yes. of those dietary patterns is a vegan diet. Yes. The other dietary pattern is an omnivorous diet. And just like you've done in previous studies, you're making sure that these are diets that are high quality. And that's so important to me. So I feel like in our field, if you're comparing diet A to B, that's so often it's so easy to do this is to say, I'm a huge fan of A, and so I'm gonna make a crappy B, kind of to hedge my bets to make sure A wins. And that gets published in the media and another study comes out the next day and it's a proponent of B, and they make a really great B and kind of a crappy A. And consumer looks at that, reads the headlines, say, wait, a one day and B the next, wow, they never agree. So one way to eliminate some of that confusion is to make the healthiest A possible and the healthiest B possible, which we did. And I'm super proud of Diet Fits, our study, that we did low fat and low carb. It was very clearly, if both of them won, that would have been great. Both All the people on both diets would have lost a lot of weight. I'd be famous if there was no AB difference, but everybody lost 50 pounds. They didn't all lose 50 pounds. They lost a range of 50 pounds to gaining 10 pounds in both studies, but I feel so comfortable. And so did the health educators, the dietitians that were working on it. And they were teaching people to eat the way that was proposed in the study. They felt, you know, they slept really well at night. I told everybody to eat the best one of these and the best one of those. We did that with ketogenic and Mediterranean. I am not a ketogenic diet fan at all. But I said, we need to do the well-formulated ketogenic diet, Finney and Volick, and you need to sleep well that you told these people the best possible way to eat a ketogenic diet. And so that's what we did again here. Otherwise, when you publish it, people say, hang on, you compared a Mediterranean diet to a junk food keto diet with hyperpalatable foods. And no surprise that the one you wanted won. 